Right, so this is the amazing spiral level we got all the way through to here. Uh, we did the spiral level, we did the sensors. So what happens next? Because we've done about half of it. There's quite a lot more to come. Oh yeah. Don't forget this. We dropped we dropped this before. Uh, because um Overloaded, that's all. <laughs> so there you go, there's your exit down there. Oh, right. Big herder jump down there, okay. So this is the spiral, we actually solved it, which has been amazing. Uh, we got all four, then we got these two. We press this. Actually, lock it all off. Uh, that's not a very good idea though. That means if you do that, and you try and approach it from the start again, you're going to be locking yourself out so that is probably emergency only so the first thing to do is decide which of these to go for you can go for him couldn't you this bloke is probably a good idea to go for tomorrow. He's like a burning bush. Progress now. Blimey, how easy was that? That was pretty flipping easy, wasn't it? Uh, but there you go. We sorted him out. Um, actually, he's talking about sorting him out. Got any more red? Oh, we got one. Has he got any more? What's he got? He's got nothing. Flipping nothing. Wow. We need to go and do some foraging, and I can show you how. There is some more foraging coming up after all we've been through. I think we deserve it. So. Fantastic sack of food. Maybe the sorcerer can take that. Yeah, he can. Um, ammo. Definitely save it at this point. Because we are gonna go off a foraging. You see, he's got he's got an acolyte staff, which is flipping handy. now, aren't they? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ah, oh, that was 
disaster that was. no good at all was it we just lost our flipping foraging because unless you take one of those fire ethereals out you don't get it so that did not go well that wasn't oh. What's going on here? I think that's the reminder to show you that there is foraging if you get the fire ethereals uh, we're gonna reload it reload it you see back to where we were because if you don't get one of those fire ethereals you don't get the foraging and we really flipping need it god we really do so that's a, a demonstration in what not to do um, all right we just came here we did that right so that wasn't very clever is he on his thing uh, See, there's two fire ethereals there. If we just take one of them down, you get the you get the uh, foraging. a bit crazy down there I must admit hmm <laughs> tell you what we'll have a bit of a sleep um, I think we've got one red juice left and that's it are left. Uh, where the heck are we now? Oh, right. Um, what is this place? Oh, you've got to put all these torches in. You just put all the torches in that you got. Which is how many? Oh, there they are. Look. Right. Put all your torches in. 
destroyed. Right, here we are. We are just about to go on a trek. He's got his acolyte staff. We've got a few of them. We've got a few of them there. That is charming, isn't it? I mean, that was flipping lucky. That was lucky. Wow. Um, okay, we're doing we're doing better. We are doing better. Like that, right? So now what? Don't fall in there. Right, we should have the um, foraging now. We should have the foraging now, that's it. We should be able to go through. Because we've taken out a fire ethereal that has opened up the foraging for us, which is exactly what we want. We've got foraging! There it is! There's the reminder. That strange ivy thing is the reminder. And now we've got this fantastic flipping foraging. It is really glorious. Oh, I tell you what, we really need it after all that battling in the spiral. Oh. I've just spotted a flipping crystal flower. <gasps> Look at that. It's really good stuff in here. It's really good stuff. Um, oh, yeah. What happens is you go down, you see this girl here with her arms outstretched. And all you do is you go alongside her. And you find a secret bit of foraging, um, which is extremely advantageous, as you can probably imagine. Cool. Heh. Nah, it's really good stuff. Um, oh, very nice too. Yeah, there's a nice little secret bit of foraging, that. I like that. Right. Um, forest fruit is pretty good going. Oh yeah, there's this place, isn't there? Uh, you get that, but basically you just chuck an item onto this plate here, and you get this happy birthday box, which is all kinds of stuff. Um, 
Oh yeah, I'll tell you what, that was flipping worth having, wasn't it? It really was worth having. <sighs> she can have that. Strength plus one, health regeneration rate. Oh, I like that. Very nice too. I mean, that's quite a nice little find. So to find that um, foraging stairs is quite a big thing. So that's the empty box. This is the other box. That was absolutely brilliant, that was. Um, so what we can do is... I mean, he's found... I mean, look at that. He's found 20. Over 20 in here. Look at that. That's not bad, is it? That's well worth knowing about. Has he got any more frost bombs left? I don't think he has really. He's got three now. She's got five. He's got four. He's got none. Yeah, we're soon using them up. It's quite amazing, isn't it? He's got five, he could have another couple of those, can he? Uh, wait a is he? Is he on top, Alchemy? Oh my god, he is too. So if you use that with that, you get a strength one. So she could go up on strength. He could go up on something, couldn't he? What could he go up on? I don't know. What, what does that do? Oh, nothing. What is that stuff? Vitality. Oh yeah. I think that'd do him a world of good. Um, what about strength for him as well? Oh no. Fire bombs. I didn't mean to do that. Um, oh no, it's crystal, isn't it? I wanted to do. Yeah, he could have a strength one, couldn't he? Um, blimey, how about that? Oh yeah, he could do with the strength one as well. Because he's got that heavy armor, hasn't he? Ha! <sighs> um, so, they're all looking pretty good, actually. Five, four. Very nice, too. Um, oh, he's got six arrows. He could do with a few more arrows, but we haven't got them, so what can you do? Um, I do like him having this concentration thing, because he can do long force fields with that. Definitely well worth coming here. For sure. Oh, mud root. Oh, okay. Oh, there's quite a bit of it. Very nice in here. Got to say. Um, oh, it looks like we've done it all. Doesn't seem to be much left of it. I think we've done the whole lot by the look of it. Um, very good. Uh, definitely worth a visit. I suppose the next thing we should do is flip and save it before anything else happens. Um, we've got some frost bombs now. Just go round the outside. Well, you can't win them all, can you? Um, wait a minute, I think he can make resuscitation potions, this bloke. Uh, let's have a look. I think he can actually... If you give him the mortar... Actually, make resuscitation potions. He can. That is unbelievable. Isn't it? Oh, he can actually make them. Look. Wow. <laughs> I forgot about that. That's bloody brilliant. That's so good. Um, right. So, oh, is that Medusa, isn't it? There she is. Look. 
bless her. We are definitely winning on the uh, spiral front. Um, let's have a look around. That's where you put the key in, I think. Is it? Yeah. You put the key in there. Don't know about that. Um, so it looks like we, we've sort of taken down any creatures that want to come up and rise up. There's, it looks a lot thinner than it was. It does look a lot thinner on the ground. We went up there. We got the uh, the goods up there with the foraging. Brilliant. And this is the way back to the spiral that we've done. Huh. Um. So let's do another save. I don't know what happens if you select another super monster. Oh, it just slams all the bloody doors down. So basically you're not allowed to do it. Uh, if, you, if you try and select another super monster it just slams all the bloody doors down and that's the end of that. You're only supposed to choose one, fair enough. So what did that leave us with then? Well, uh, we can either go back to the emergency exit do the key, we can put the key in, down here I can see this, I'm going to save it again, we've got frost bombs haven't we, yeah, uh, actually let's do another couple of frost bombs, yeah it could be a good, good move, have the key ready, the key is the brass one. Right. No! So this is where we come down to. We come down to this place with these um, seven torches. <laughs> so what you're going to do then, because you can put the torches in. Blimey, what's, what's going on? Oh, I see, we've got archers on the other side. So you can put torches in, particularly the dead ones. Uh, put torches in all the way along here. This one opens. But the other thing you can do is you can actually go into the water. So for instance, shoot along here, and there's a trapdoor down here. So what is the point? Um, so the point is, we are going to go back to the start of the spiral. So what's the point of that? Well, you're just about to find out. This is heading back to...
to the start of the spiral. Blimey. It is a bit of a maze down here sometimes. weapon number three and that is flipping fantastic isn't it? That is not bad at all. That's pretty good going. I like that. Um let's see he's got one of those has he? He's got one of those, okay. He can add that. And this shows frost bolt. Alright, blimey frost bolt, okay. good. Um, he could definitely do with some more arrows. That is for definite. Um, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Um, let's bring him... Oh, we've got these. I didn't realise we had so many of these. Go on. If I'd have known that, I would have come back before. So, that's fantastic, that is. Um, we haven't got a huge amount of uh, red juices, but we've got a few. What have they got then? She's got four. He's got five. They're alright. Yeah, they're okay. Um, so that was very nice indeed. This is where it all started on the spiral. We can actually go down there again. But what would you do that for? Just for sentimental reasons, I suppose. Um, go on then. You never know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I've got a feeling that we we could go down that emergency exit and have a look down there. Right. So we're down here. Ah, right. Right. This is where it all happened. Oh, the spiral. The very start. He's now got his saber, so he's showing off. Really. He's he's showing off, but he hasn't quite. Got so we are heading down this way. Best idea if you're going to actually use the emergency exit is to kick off down here. Poor old spider hasn't done anyone any harm at all. Training spiders, they're so training to be spiders, they're not actual spiders. So where do we get to on this? This is the star flipping chamber, isn't it? Yeah, we've been there. staff down here. This is the shame staff, isn't it? Yeah. Um, hmm. I'm not sure about that. Uh, well, you get to see it, and that's about it. <laughs> yeah, I remember that from the last time. So, I'm not sure about that shame and staff business. Not sure. What are we going to do? Well, we've got a few choices. We do need to go and get that rapier sword, actually. Um, that's what we need to do. That's 
to the next stage of the game. So, for that we need to go into the mine basin, don't we? The mine basin from here then. I think it's just round the corner. Yeah, it's just up here. Pretty sure it's here, isn't it? Oh, it's, we've got this armour! Oh my goodness, I forgot about that. He's actually qualified on it, definitely. So, he can have that. I mean, that's a, that's lovely um, lurker stuff that he's got, isn't it? Yeah. But, this stuff is fantastic. Look, protection plus eight. I suppose there's not a lot in it, but it does mount up. Um, God, what is the matter with him? I suppose it's these bombs. Um, Bracket, can you rustle up a strength potion for the sorcerer? It's not enough. Gold. use that now. Let's go up here for a bit of flipping peace and quiet. He's actually got this gun and he's actually qualified on it now. He can actually use it. So instead of these darts, he can have this. Look, he can actually shoot. Yes! Alright, that's really good. Um, he was in the middle of doing this, wasn't he? Trying to get the sorcerer up to flipping strength. It's just not happening. It's just not happening at all. What is he carrying that's so bloody heavy? Let's have a look. Oh, he's, he's out of it now. Um, oh, it's the food! He didn't want the food, I don't think. Now he's complaining. Oh, he's alright. He's got a bag. He's got two bags of food, this bloke. Um, but he seems quite happy. Minotaur's alright, these blokes okay. So, we need to get to the Pangaea walkway and do that uh, thing with the. Um I had to see the back of him for definite. Cool. So we got arrows. Well, what arrows? Where's the arrows then? He's got one. Um, oh, sorry, he's got eight. There you go, he's alright, he's fine. Um, she is going to go up. Accuracy. Oh, I see what we can do. We can get him. Right, we need three pieces of food. Got one, two, three. Right now, he can go to this one. Do this, this, and this. And that is now a full bag of food. We put that in the middle of the floor where it's quite visible. Um, we've got tons and tons of ammo there, but we don't need to take it. Okay, we've got loads of stuff. Right, we are going off on an adventure down the Pangaea walkway to get that rapier sword. Because that's just another step in the flipping game, that's all. <laughs> right. Now then, I think I can see a rapier sword. That's what we want. Right, okay, that's good. Um, fit it into there all right so we've got one rapier sword I think that's the first one okay we're on the flipping trail okay so now we descend using the rope and we're on here 
this is called Chalotes. Um, there's quite a lot to do around here, including pressing this button, going up here, taking these geezers off. Oh, that's not bad, is it? One on that right. He got one of those rage ones, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. I say, this is amazing compared to the last time I took these blokes on. Alright, we're back out to the mine basin. Let's have a little look back down here. See what's going on. Yes! Got that. Finish off getting my stuff. No. Sheesh, kebab. I like that. I like that. That's good. Else. Anything? Oh, we've got solar body large. Oh, these are essences, aren't they? Solar body small. Um, it's pretty good going. I like that. Uh, oh my god, there's loads of the double medusas. There's absolutely tons of them. I mean, they were flipping every going. Where do we go to exit out of here? I suppose we could go back to that mine. Um, there's another lot of them, look. But he's, not, he's not doing very good on that sh shotgun, is he? Um, so up here, what have we got? We've got... That's handy. What have we got up here then? Um, oh, that's nice. we got some nice boots there. I'm not sure if anybody needs them, really. Hmm, no, they don't. They don't need them. What is this? Oh, see, underneath it all. There are various, ooh, there are various bits and pieces that are worth having a look at. Um, but it looks like we were due in here quite a while ago. Come on in.
we get this flipping rifle to work, it might might be handy, mightn't it? Oh, he's, he's, he's got it working again now. They were flipping hard work. I'm really glad we got rid of them. Right, so we're going to go on to stage two now. We are going to go on to stage two. There's no food there. Um, he's going to go up on um, heavy armour, I suppose he might as well. He can go up on what? Missile weapons, I suppose. done fantastically. This is Chalotes. And it's definitely worth coming to. So now we can actually descend into this flipping nightmare. Um, this place wants a solar body small and a solar body large. I think we actually did see that um, actually in the spiral but we didn't go for it. So we're not going to be able to get that. Um, Then. That was nearly a flipping ambush. So what is in this bit here then? Uh, we're not going to find out. <laughs> Chop it down on these red juices. Go on then, what's in here? Need a key for that. This is not looking too promising. What are these stairs then? We got a flipping. Ah, this is the this is the Zarkton Beach. This is the Zarkton Beach. So, we came to the Zarkton Beach uh, before. He is going to go up on to what? No. I suppose fire magic is his main weapon. Um. So, I don't know if we went down there before, but um, she has got one key left. That's it. That's all she's got. And so, let's go down this direction and use that one key. Could be chance to. What's going on here? 
What the heck is that lot? It's very strange. I wasn't expecting that, I've got to say. Um, I was going to use that key. The key does actually fit there. She's still flipping. She's still flipping going. That goes down to heavy armour. What? Oh right! This is light armour. And we haven't had that, have we, before? Arrows come in handy. So this is a sort of a cache to help yourself to. Um, that's obviously a time limit. Um, wait a minute, who wants chitting armour? I suppose he does. Is he, is he up on it? He's not up on it! not up on it, but he will be up on it. He'll train up for it now because this is gorgeous army. You can't say no to that. Um, oh my god, that's a cube key. You're kidding. There's a flipping cube key there. We can now go to the blue stones. Wow. We can now go to Last key. Where, where is it here? Um, we can get heavy armor there, but I mean, I, honestly, I don't know whether to or not really. Right, go on, we'll do it anyway. Um, right, we're gonna go down. Right, we have descended to the heavy armor, as you can see. Um, apart from heavy armor, there's a few other good bits to get as well. Um, Scroll of shield. Scroll of shock. Um, oh my god, it's a revolver. Wow, we can use that. Um, we've got sacks all over the show. We've got corals as well. The thing is, what about this heavy armour? Who's going to wear it? Um, I don't know. I think we might just leave it here for the time being and just oh yeah do 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 a little note um, on the map plate armor is what it's called okay plate armor's fine the main thing is that we have got um, the cube key what is this place here <coughs> oh no what have I come down here for save it now because I'm not sure which way you're supposed to go um, we saved it so we should be fine um, oh we raided all this lot before I don't know if you remember we raided it all so, we didn't do marvellously out of that, did we? No, we didn't. I've got a feeling this actually goes... Does this go to the the blue stones, this lot? Oh, no, not this place. This place 
is unbelievable. It looks like it might be worth... Oh, look at this, look. Um, don't ask me. Oh right, that's her key bag. There's only, she's only got one key left. Yeah, that does make sense. Oh, um. Oh, we nearly got ambushed then. Very close. Um, so we're going to get to the blue stones. Now, all you do need to do to get to the blue stones is to go down here. Um, this is the way to the blue stones, believe it or not. And we've got a ticket to the flipping blue stones. Haven't we? We've got a flipping cube key. So we are actually going to get into ye blue blue stones, which in this game is quite something. Um, and it all stems from finding the cube key. Uh, be nice to actually get there. Really well, but this is the way. Oh, of course, I know another way we could have gone. Anyway, this, we, this is as good a way as any. So you're here. And here is the blue stones looking down when you're locked out. This is the blue stone locked out again. We've got a cube key. We're going to go down and visit the blue stones right now. And here we are. This is the blue stones. We've arrived. 